China North Industries always come to Eurosatory as they find this is a very good place to show their total capability. This year at Eurosatory, they have a number of key elements. We have the armor vehicles on the left. This is the one we're looking at. This is the artillery one. So what Norinco are doing are trying to provide customers with a complete fire support artillery solution. And it ranges from the lightweight 155 artillery system at the back there, which weighs just over four tons and is very useful by rapid deployment forces. The PLZ-52 here is the latest in the track system. It's got a 155-52 caliber system and it is already available now. The earlier 45 caliber system is in service with at least two countries. And as we've said before, there's a trend in many countries to develop the wheeled self-propelled artillery solutions. This particular one here is the latest SH-1 from Norinco, and it's got a 155mm 52 cal ordnance uh, mounted at the rear. At the very back there is the, is the stabiliser. So when it's in the firing position, that is lowered to the ground to provide a more fire, a stable firing platform. And if we look at a couple of interesting things, the ammunition is stowed either side here. On top is a muzzle velocity radar, which feeds information to the fire control system. And here is the flick rammer. So the projectile are put on there, it flicks over and rammed, and then the charges, which can be of the modular type, are then loaded. If we go around here, we see some of the other key elements. First of all, the self-propelled mortar. Mortars traditionally are deployed on the ground. Many countries like a self-propelled one. So this is the SM4, which is fitted with a turntable mounted 120 millimeter mortar, can come into action very rapidly, open fire, and then redeploy before any counter battery fire arrives. Another more interesting one is the self-propelled mortar system, the CSSM1, which is 81 mm. This is similar to the Russian Vasilek and fires a clip of mortar bombs here, and this is mounted on a light 4x4 all-terrain vehicle. And again, it is mounted on a slight turntable so it can be rapidly deployed to exactly where you want to need it. And we'll just move over to two other interesting ones. China has always used Russian calibers, 122 and 152. In the last 10 years, they moved away from that to NATO standard. As we saw, they're 155 mm, the lightweight one, the PLZ-52, and the SH-1. Well, this is another one. This is a 105 SH-5, and that is mounted on a light 6x6 cross-country chassis. As you can see, it's got a protected cab. At the rear are the stabilizers to provide more firing, to provide a more stable firing platform and the, the range depends on the type of ammunition used but the maximum range used in the old NATO ammunition is about 18 kilometers so many countries in the world Africa Asia they don't really need heavier weapons so they have a 105 one which you can rapidly bring into action carry out a fire mission and then redeploy Norinco also manufacture a wide range of artillery rocket systems. We're just looking to, this is the more interesting one, the SR5, Sierra Ramio 5. What's unique about that, it's got a protected cab and on the back is the launcher. It can carry 122 millimeter rockets here, or the longer range, 220mm to guide your rocket. So it's a highly flexible system. It allows people to come into action, carry out a fire mission and redeploy. And to save them loading manually, this comes out, drops down. So it's a very modular rocket system, can come into action very quickly and fire different rockets with different ranges and different warheads to meet different requirements. This is the very biggest one. This is the AR-3. Again, it's a modular system. It's got two rocket pods up there and it can fire either 370 or 300 millimeter rockets. The larger caliber are guided, so they have a precision effect. Conventional rockets are unguided and they're only mainly used for saturation support. Guided rockets are much more accurate, therefore you need less rockets to neutralize the target, therefore your whole logistics chain is much, much better. So that really completes a brief roundup of the Norinco fire strike capability. But this is just the weapons. It also includes the ammunition and the target acquisition system. So Norinco can provide customers with a total fire strike capability, ranging from the gun, the ammunition, the rocket launchers, the target acquisition, and the essential command and control.